guys welcome back to my channel it's you from happiness and crafting so today i'm going to show you how i make these lovely little shaker cards um, and they are so so pretty um, and what i'm using as the base is the good old toilet tube um, which is fantastic and what i've done i've flattened them out already so if you have already used these before and you've got a nice little stash of flat ones um, just get those ready to use um, for those of you who haven't used them before, just cut them in half here, or not in half, just cut them one slice down the middle here, open them out and flatten them in between some books. What I do as well, I spray them with antibacterial spray um, and you can iron them dry um, and they flatten down really, really lovely because this is what they've come out like. Um, I just put them under a couple of books um, and they are so good and handy to use. So this is what I've used as the base of these. Now I have covered either side. I've got them ready to go because you don't need to see me do that. I've just covered each side with some coffee stain paper. So all I've done, popped it on there, get a piece of tea stain paper and stick it on the front and the back. Easy as anything. Um, pop that to the side. So I've got a couple ready here because you don't need to see me do that. Um, and that is the base of them and then what I've done I've just printed onto some vellum now this is the pink butterfly collection that I've used I've used the oceanic adventures um, papers as well now the papers that I've used are the little postcards because what I've got in my in my kits I have them so they they come in little pages of four um, and the little um, shrunk down big pages um, and they are perfect size for these and I've also got some lovely Christmas ones now I'm hoping you can see that that one's on the outside where I you can see the little shiny bits inside now if you move them about it's lovely so they just it's a shaker card but it's just a flat one so you can just pop them into your journal um, so there's nothing bumpy or anything on them so you can still write on the back and journal on the back um, but I think it just makes it look really pretty and especially if you've got a nice little Christmas journal it's a nice little bit of shiny to go in it this one now I've sewn around these now I've done this one where I haven't sewn it I popped some double sided tape on here which is whatever I've done with it which is this thin red tape and now this is really really sticky um, and I've just popped it round the edges like that and stuck it on but i don't know whether you can see it does tend to sort of like stick around the edge it attaches itself to it but it still does move around a little bit but i'm loving them so that's an idea if you don't sew okay so i've got a couple of christmas ones and then i've got these ones which i did for my journals that i'm making which um, i will be carrying on with those i've had a little break from those but i will be showing you where i'm up to this week um, but i think they look so so pretty and these are of course the pink butterfly ones on here and i've just added a little embellishment this little dingly dangly is one from the um i've got a video that i did on that which are to hang off the oceanic adventure ones but i thought that worked really well on there and then i've just added a little bit of trim and veva on there I'm hoping you can see the shiny in there moving about because I think they're just so so pretty just gives it a little bit of something pretty inside now these two here I used up now I was doing some um, little tag booklets um, on my last video so I had some of the little um, journal cards left so I did it with these and I've just used the actual paper one which I stuck to a piece of card which I actually stuck to these which I um, coffee stained the other day popped it on there and cut around it and then I just popped a piece of um, the tracing paper over the top so this one the picture is actually underneath the tracing paper so here we go here's a piece of tracing paper that is underneath so that just the plane is over the top um, so you can see it under there so it depends so if you didn't want to print on tracing paper which it's very simple <coughs> excuse me 
it's simple to do it just like printing on paper um, but it's lovely but if you didn't want to do that and you had some little tags and things bits of paper left over you can make little ones and just put them in now what I've put inside are these little sort of little iridescent um, shiny sort of like almost like sequins without the hole and then I've got some gold ones as well here now I just picked these up randomly a while ago um, well ages ago really from um, a shop called Casa um, which they had some lovely stuff in um, so it's nice to just pick up bits and pieces when you see them you never know when you're going to use them so I'm going to show you how simple it is to make these now I've got the pieces of card so we just use one now these are the little bits of vellum okay not vellum but it's tracing paper and it is vellum um, which I printed on a cut out so I think we use the little Father Christmas one and the little baby on there which looks nice and the Merry Christmas so it's really really simple so once you've covered your um, flattened toilet roll tube with double not double sided tape with um, coffee stain paper um, make sure you stuck it down nicely glue stick or sort of PVA or something and then what we need to do is pop this on now I don't I just hold it like that and then I'm just sewing around three edges so leave one of them um, open so you can pop all your little bits in um, so what I'm going to do I'm just going to sew around it now if you're going to stick the tape on stick the tape just on well on all four sides but just take off three and then you can just stick that down pop your um, little bits of sequins inside and then take that last piece off and stick it down uh, but what I'm going to do I'm just going to pop off to the sewing machine and just sew it around there if you're not too sure you can just put a little dub of glue around it just to catch it before you sew it but I'm just going to quickly sew around this I'll be two seconds okay so there we are I have just gone around the outside here I've just gone a little bit lower there so it didn't quite catch it but that's okay we can just trim that piece off so what I'm going to do I'm just going to tidy up the edges so just cut off the excess bit of um, tracing paper on there just go around the outside like that take that off there I'm just going to trim that down there because I didn't quite have it level there we are so there I think that looks really nice that's just you can just leave them like that and I love this like vellum printed onto the tracing paper because I think it looks really nice but all you've got to do is open it up open this end up I'm going to pop some gold in there seeing it's sort of Christmassy one um, so I'm going to just open these up, pop a few in there. You don't need a huge amount. And you can see it just shining around in there like that. Pop the lid on. Okay, pop it down. I'm going to go back to the sewing machine and I'm just going to sew all the way down there. Okay, there we go. How quick and simple was that? So can you see? I hope you can see in there. You've got all those lovely little shiny bits. So you can use sequins, you can use whatever you have. Um, now the stitching, I've done it really, really close together. I think it's my machine is on sort of like one and a half. Um, so it says the stitch size. Um, but I think because you ask, they're going to fall through the little holes, um, which I think are really, really lovely. So again, you can leave it like that. I have got some little... Um, bits of velvet I think I'd have to have the red so you can just stick a little bit of a little red velvet bow on there which I think I will do um, I don't want to put anything too much on them because I wanted them just to pop into the journal um, just so you can journal on them nicely pop into a little pocket but I think that looks really really pretty I'm hoping you can see those little shiny bits and it looks so lovely you could dingly dangly a little bell or something off there as well couldn't you stick that down make sure that's dry so that's how simple it is now I'm going to just show you quickly how to do it with these ones because they're really easy pop that over there 
so I had one here somewhere so what I'm going to do I'm just going to get my glue stick I'm going to stick this down like that maybe I will do it with double-sided tape just to show you how to do it let's stick this on because I know lots of you don't sew so you need to stick it on quite well These are just little cards that I had, but they fit really well on these, so I've just used those. But again, you can just cut these up. You can just pop it onto a piece of, of the um, toilet paper tube as well, which fit really well. What I'm going to do, I'm going to stick that on, cut this down with sticky scissors. That isn't stuck down very well need to stick this down quite well because um, now I've got glue everywhere because we don't want the um, paper coming off with the double sided tape do we so let's just trim this up these would look really pretty actually on the front of a little gift bag or something nice little shiny pocket wouldn't it on a gift bag pop something in it as well so that's that now I had a really thin one here somewhere what I've done with that I don't know here we are now this is this lovely really extra strong sort of like tape red um, double-sided tape so what I'm going to do I'm just going to go right round the outside Make sure you stick it down nicely. Chop it off. I think my scissors are a bit sticky. So you need to go around all four sides. Like this. Put this on probably glue it as well but you want something that will make sure they're stuck in there properly don't want it coming off one more Okay, so what we need to do then, keep this top one, make sure they're really stuck down nicely. Now I'm going to just take three of them off, if I can. that top one I'm going to take my piece of tracing paper or vellum or whatever you have don't have to line it up properly because we can just trim around the edges nice and neat and tidy there we are now we need to make sure that's stuck down nicely nice and tight right so what we need to do I'll pop a couple of these lovely iridescent ones in there because they are really pretty so open this up like a little pocket just pop a few and you don't need a huge amount in there Could probably put a little bit of glitter in there if you wanted to as well on the Christmas ones can you see there they are nice little iridescent ones put them down right where's my little take this off just 
stick that down like that. Now you can you can see that. I hope you can see that on there. You can just see there's like a little line around it, so you can see that it is taped down. Um, but I still think it looks really pretty. But you can also actually probably put some trim around the outside as well, which would look nice, wouldn't it? So you could put trim all the way around it or just keep them like that and pop them in your journals. I think they are so, so pretty. And that's the one that I've sewn around. So if you don't sew, you can stick them and if you sew, you can sew them around on your machine. But I think they are lovely. Nice little addition to your journals um, and a nice way to use up some recycling. So there we go guys, that's three lovely little ones here and then we've got the lovely big shaker ones like this which is the pink butterfly. I'm loving these, these ones are going into my journal um, like that and then we've got the lovely one with a boat on it and then we've got some beautiful Christmas ones. Seeing we are doing a Christmas in July, so there we are. So there we go guys and then we've got this one here that we've just made, so so pretty. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed that, very very simple, nice and flat, so it's easier than the, um, the raised um, shaker cards because they're nice and thin and can just pop into your journals. Okay guys, thank you so so much for joining me, please stay safe, take care and I will see you soon. Alright guys, bye bye. Mm -hmm.